but that is now spread to the other ones. And I mean, I just hold the line on reptiles. Nothing against them. I'm just not a big snake person and really don't want to feed it baby mice either. Uh, and they just are very excited and believe that I've agreed to a snake, which I really haven't agreed. But it's kind of like kids get this thing where, yes, no, you have. And we're getting the snake this weekend. But it's kind of the ultimate system of, of, uh, of advertising where you just convince everyone, yes, it is happening. And so it, it ends up happening. But listen, if you won't get me a king snake, I know you'll at least get me a small boa, which we can then go to the Florida Everglades and dump out. No, no, ladies and gentlemen. But we will put uh, Cayman alligators in Barton Creek. I am seriously thinking about, I'm joking. I'm joking. Actually, I'm not joking. <laughs> it has been looked at. Anyways, we're worried if we have a pond by Barton Creek. And then what will happen if the alligators in a heated pond get out of the pond, the koi pond, and then go down into the creek? Could that happen is the question. All right, I am really all over the map, and I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I am now segueing uh, off into uh, other issues here. Let's get serious. If tyrants can set the precedent to do things that were previously illegal and get away with it, it sets the precedent that they're basically above the law. That's a very simple maxim in law and common sense. Give them an inch, they take you a mile. They take you a mile, they take you a thousand miles. They take you a thousand miles, they take you a trillion miles. And so we've gotten into this situation where government and the interests that control it are, are, are really running around like wild heathen, like pirates on the deck of a ship they've just captured, guzzling rum and you know pilfering uh, winches. And this spectacle is intensifying in its rapidity and in its frequency and its intensity. And we've got uh, Issa, who's done a decent job on Fast and Furious, a decent job on this, but he always stops with contempt or always stops and doesn't go with congressional impeachment hearings. He goes, you, you, you can impeach Lois Lerner. You can impeach the attorney general. You can impeach Obama. You can impeach any of these people. But the Democrats will bring out all the dirt on the Republicans if they do. The problem is that the Democrats are doing that anyways. Oh, look, you have a crooked toenail or, you know, you had a girlfriend on the side 10 years ago. It, it's all going to come out or it's all going to be exaggerated or it's all going to be manufactured. And they're going for a full takeover to get rid of the other party. I mean, you think we're bad enough with two parties in this country that are joined at the hip, conjoined. Now we've got the one party system trying to kill what's left of the Republicans and the Republican leadership selling out in the final moment to try to get their, you know, a place at the table in the transition and get some more personal loot and goodies for themselves. But you've got Richard Nixon with a hundred names or 110 names, whatever it was locked up in that safe that he had the IRS commissioner gather of his political enemies to try to leak it to the media and use it against people. Now you've got everybody's IRS file being shared by all these agencies illegally. They're persecuting people. They're targeting them. They're auditing them. They're going after the nonprofits. They're going after the pro-life groups. The Tea Party groups are telling the military, uh, don't be part of it. Uh, they're telling, um, you know, everybody that basically freedom's illegal. They're acting like guns are illegal. They're, they're trying to create social pressure like political correctness so everybody goes along with this. And then you get uh, Lois Lerner, the IRS head over the nonprofits, who is, it now came out you know, last year, did perjure herself. Even though she took the fifth, she went on to lie after it, as if that was a get-out-of-jail-free card. Now, the fifth means you shut up. And so she's been caught lying, and it goes to the attorney general, it goes to Obama. The IRS person under her met with Obama over and over again. Obama got caught lying about that. So all this comes out, and she pleads the fifth this time, and they shut it down. And uh, even though the hearing's being shut down because she won't talk, you get the other congressperson, Cummings, who says, this is un-American. I want to ask questions, and they turn his mic off. That's coming up. But these people are not invincible. Look at that look of that woman. I mean, literally a political persecutor, like something out of North Korea or something. I'm looking at an image of her if you're a TV viewer, your radio listener. PrisonPlanet.tv, we have video simulcast going right now.
And it is just so frustrating to see them getting away with things that are a thousand times what Nixon did conservatively. Virtual. Stefan Molyneux is going to be in studio with us to talk about the state of the world and what's going to happen is those that follow the status religion find out that it was all a cult and they were betrayed. You're already starting to see that coming of age happening. We're going to get his futurist worldview coming up in studio in the second hour. We'll continue with open phones into the third hour today. We have Ben Swan in studio. Um, Edward R. Murrow winner. Real journalist, trailblazing, alternative media individual. He'll be in studio with us for an hour tomorrow as well. And the Green Beret doctor, Dr. Edward Group, uh, will also be in studio with us as well. What are you laughing about over there? Let's get serious, though, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, here is part of the hearing today when Lois Lerner, the persecutor, uh, sending the IRS after people, people getting audited, people having their houses taken, people being arrested, people being tried. Uh, a true witch gets up there and takes the fifth yet again, caught lying last time. He's talking about now having her arrested for contempt. How about for perjury? Here is her taking the fifth, and then the mic's getting turned off, and the rest of it. Here it is. In order to testify. On the advice of my counsel, I respectfully exercise my Fifth Amendment right and decline to answer that question. Self-incrimination. By the way, the IRS doesn't give you that whenever <laughs> they come after you. They say no fifth. Because they are a group of monsters. Monsters. Ladies and gentlemen, seeking uh, the truth is the obligation of this committee. I can see no point in going further. I have no expectation that Ms. Lerner will cooperate with this committee. Chairman. And therefore, we Chairman, Chairman. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I have a statement. I have a procedural question, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, I have a procedural question. That's Cummings, they turn his mic off in a minute. Now his mic's Mr. off. Mr. Chairman, you cannot run a committee like this. Now it's back. Oh. You just cannot do this. This is, we're better than that as a country. We're better than that as a committee. Yeah, let her take the fifth and then. For a few minutes to. And then lie after it like, like she's allowed to. The fifth means you get to lie. Now they turn his mic off. So his mic's being turned on and off. And I want to ask a question. He says it's un-American. What's the big deal? May I ask my question? May you, I state my statement? You're, you're all free to leave. We've adjourned, but the gentleman may ask his question. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I have one procedural question. And it goes to trying to help you get the information, by the way, that you just asked. What is your question? Let, I'm, I'm going, no, let me say what I have to say. I've listened to you for the last 15 or 20 minutes. Let me say what I have to say. Sharon, I have one procedural Ms. question. Ms. Lerner, you're, you're, you're released. You may. But first, I would like to use my time to make some brief points. For the past year, the central Republican accusation in this investigation, we're adjourned. Close it down. By the way, the, the meeting is adjourned. Cummings could go talk to the press out there. He is violating the House rules. Right there, just running the committee, not the chairman. No way Cummings would let Issa do that if he was the chairman. This is unheard of right here. This of a president's political enemies effectively and lied about it during the election year in the fall. Now he's saying it's a lie the IRS ever did anything. That's right, Obama never did anything. He just had other people do it to him. That's right, you never did nothing to anybody in your whole life. You're all a bunch of sweetie pies. You're tired of the filmmakers getting arrested? We have members over here, each who... And all the persecution? people. You cannot just have a one-sided investigation. There is absolutely something wrong with that, and there's absolutely... A one-sided investigation. Salandra. Salindra. Potato, potato. Benghazi. Well, those guys really hate each other. I gave you an opportunity to ask a question. You guys have I do have a question. Yeah, he doesn't have any questions. Cummings is up there just ranting. What are you hiding? Calling it un-American that this woman persecutes people. Then she takes the fifth. He continued to theme on Sunday when he happened to appeal. I mean, it is incredible. On MSNBC, they say, good, audit all the Republicans. Good, arrest them. Good, Bloomberg's running around trying to get pro-gun speech banned on Facebook. Most banks won't take a gun shop's 
account now. Newspapers won't take our ads. We're all being persecuted by a criminal takeover group. And they're scared to death we're going to take control of the Republican Party. Because we're so close to doing it, and you scallywag, scumbag, thug, gangster crooks are scared of it. Now, we come back, we're going to look at the West, NATO, funding snipers in false flags in Ukraine. The leaked audio, coming up straight ahead, I'm Alex Jones. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.